Hi everyone. <laughs> I am over the moon. I have been so so looking forward to having a hundred subscribers. If you don't have a channel, then you may not know this, but <clears throat> at a hundred subscribers, um, you get to choose your URL. And what that means is, if you don't know, um, you can always choose your name, but to get your vanity URL is what they call it. In other words, mine is now youtube.com forward slash C for channel forward slash, which that's what it is for everybody. So it's youtube.com forward slash C forward slash. I got to pick what comes after that. So I, of course, chose Dash Between because that is the name of my channel. Because we have two dates and a dash on our on our tombstones and we need to make the most of the dash of between. So I got to set up my, my URL today and I don't know why, but I am just literally tickled pink about that. So finally made 100 subscribers and I've been so excited and so looking forward to this. And today is the day. Actually, I think I've gotten, oh, 20 or 25 new subscribers in the last 24 hours. So I really went from thinking, oh, you know, I'm hoping this is going to happen to, wow, look at that. <laughs> Yay. So at any rate, I want to give you something. I want to have a giveaway. I want to give things away because you have blessed me so much with this whole uh, subscribing to my channel and encouraging me and leaving your comments. And I love you and appreciate you so much for it. So let's talk about having a little giveaway. I will state this at the beginning and again at the end. And it will also be in the description below. But let's just talk about the, the rules and whatever about this little giveaway. So it starts today from the moment this goes live, which is going to be today, which is Wednesday. Don't ask me what the date is. I don't know. Um, it's, I, <laughs> I'm like, Cheryl, you can think of this. No, apparently I can't. Um, it will run from now through midnight Central Standard Time on January 21st, which is one week from today. I will do the drawing on January 22nd. Now, here's the deal. I don't actually know how to do this. <laughs> I know there are instructions out there and I'm a smart, I'm a smart cookie. So I will go out and I will find how to do it. But I have heard other people talk about how they can do a drawing based on the comments. And so I don't want to I, this is the video where I am not going to respond to your comments and it's going to be very difficult for me because I love responding to comments, but that's how I'm going to do the contest. So I'm not going to put my name, I'm not going to comment because I don't want my name getting in there. So what you need to do is you need to comment down below and I want you to tell me two things. One, I just want you to say hi, however you would say that. Howdy, hello, what's up? <laughs> Um, peace, however you do it, I don't care. Say hi, and second, I would like to hear what you like about junk journals, and I don't care what that is for you. I, I, I wanna know what that is for you, I do care, but you, I really want you to just tell me, is, do you, what's your favorite, th my dog just walked over the stand. My apologies, Could you, did you see the world rocking? That was my dog. She's blind, so she can't see it. Uh, she's precious and she's sweet, but she doesn't know where she's going, except that she wants to sit underneath my feet, which that's where she's at right now. But she's wandering around lost because she can't see. So at any rate, lay down, lay down, girl. She's all trapped underneath my, my, and she's about to walk across the thing again. Go lay down, go lay down. Maybe I'll show her to you one of these days. She's just this little, she looks like an Ewok. She's, she's as sweet as she can be. Anyway, um, so the, the telling me what you like about junk journals, I, w perhaps you like the paper. You love the paper, right? Maybe it's the vintage ephemera. Maybe it's, maybe it's the fact that you like writing in them. Maybe you just like crafting with them. Maybe this just is this, you just love them. And it could be several things, but I would like for you to pick up the, you know, the, the thing that sort of stands out in your mind. 
Um, perhaps it is um, the community of the junk journaling community. Perhaps you like just, I don't know, <laughs> whatever it is. You, maybe you like distressing. I don't know. Whatever it is, <clears throat> maybe you're crushing on Tim Holtz like me, like like the rest of us. I, I think there's a lot of us that are just fangirling all over Tim Holtz. So maybe it's, oh, there's my phone. Not my phone, the house phone. Um, so maybe you're just fangirling all over Tim Holtz and, and so you'd had to find some way to use some Tim Holtz stuff. I don't know. Whatever it is, please leave that in your comment as well. Without further ado, um, let's take a look at what's inside this little cutie here. So this journal size, you can use it for whatever you would like, but I will tell you what I use them for. I make these I make this size quite often. I like them. I like them a lot because they tuck in my purse very nicely. And um, I have this size that I tuck into a very small purse that I have. And I have another size that I carry that's sort of a traveler's notebook size that I can change the pages out easily. And I keep that in my backpack. And these are the ones that I keep my daily notes in. So this is where I would put my shopping list whenever I have to, when I have to go run errands, I literally map it out because I know if I don't, I'm going to stop by, you know, a thrift store or Tuesday morning or something, and I'm going to get lost in there and I'm going to forget that I was supposed to pick up milk on my way home or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I make those kinds of notes. Sometimes I'll tuck in other things to these little deals, but mostly these are meant for, for me, for, um, my daily usage, my daily running around needs to be in my purse usage. They're not super sturdy, but that means they're not super heavy. And so this is the size that I like for that. Your mileage may, may vary. You do whatever you would like, but this is what I'm giving away and I think they're adorable. I also think I have a video <clears throat> on how to make these. You can make them in about, I don't know, one and a half to two and a half hours, not not long compared to how long. I mean, we spend days on our bigger junk journals. These can be made in a relatively short period of time. And you could spend three, three or four hours on them. But I, I think you can get one done like this in probably about two hours if you're used to junk journaling. So um, they're relatively quick to make. And I think that's super fun because then you can make them easily and, and get them out and and be leaving the house to go out. So, um, here's here's the journal. It's made out of scrapbook card stock. So again, not, not heavy, but sturdy enough, and I've reinforced the spine, and the front and back covers both have pockets, which gives that a little bit more stability. <coughs> here's a cute little cluster I put right there, decoupage cluster. This Right here is an envelope that does not have a note in it yet, but I plan to put one in there before I ship it out to the lucky recipient. And I have a thing for polka dots. Um, so, so you'll see some polka dots in here because I love them, love polka dots. I don't know why, but I do. Um, so the next page I have a little tuck spot right here um, and then right here I have see there's a tuck spot there and there's a pocket right there and this has a little little snippet of lace and another little cluster <clears throat> ample space to take notes lists journaling spots so forth and then this is a double pocket pocket one pocket two, and I just included some little scraps. Now I will tell you, I included, and you'll see if you watch the video that where I show how to make this particular style, what I do is I take a, I, I have a formula on how many pieces of scrapbook paper and how many pieces of um, scrapbooking paper and scrapbooking cardstock that you need, and also formula for how many of these other pages and I, I literally break it down where it's really easy to just sort of knock these out. Um, and then I take the leftovers, the left leftovers that we use to make the journal, and I tuck them in. 
because for example, if you wanted to, that's not a great page for it. Well, let's just put it there. Let's say you wanted, you didn't want to use this line right here and you wanted to turn, you wanted to put a photograph here. You could, you could use this as a backdrop and let me see if I can find a photo real quick. <clears throat> no, but I found one of my business cards. So I'm also an artist and, um, so this is my business card. It's a painting of mine. Anyway, so if you want to put, say, a photo on top, you have all of these scraps in here that you can, you know, tear this off and and use as as a foundation for your photos. Or let's say you want to. I think that's still. Yeah, something like that. So super cute, you can use these for any number of things, even if you're not writing on them. This is just a little a little greeting card that I found. I think she's just precious. I don't normally do a lot of cute things, but I, I do, I love whimsy, I love whimsical. And you'll see, I've mentioned in the last video, and I've had a couple of people respond that you wanted to see my art. And so you'll see, I don't always do, you know, sort of crazy things like this. I do some other, a little less crazy. Not all of it's less crazy, but um, I do also do some whimsical drawings. So this sort of reminds me of that, and I thought she was just precious, so I put that in there. And more little scraps. This is a flip up and a tuck. More of my polka dots. I'm telling you, I love polka dots. Um, here's my other business card. Hold on. You'll see that I have polka dots on my business cards. I, I own a marketing farm, and so um, I'm not trying to promote my business. I just wanted to see I have a thing for polka dots. I just love them. Love polka dots. So anyway, um, and you can tell I'm excited because I'm talking about all this random stuff that makes no difference. Okay. Uh, transfer paper or... I don't know what the vellum, I don't know what that is, something like that. More music, more cardstock, another decoupage cluster, and then back here, a few more scraps of music paper and more polka dots. Coffee dyed paper. This is coffee dyed, so it may still have a little tiny lingering smell of coffee. Probably not much, but it. Yeah, if you're really sensitive, it might still, I, I can't smell it, but, you know. <clears throat> this comes from a, an old calendar, and I loved this. I, I love art. I'm, an, again, I'm, I'm an artist, and uh, I love art, so I try to throw these in whenever I can. And this page has a double pocket, a pocket there, and a pocket there. See? And then you have the center of the signature, and then you have another double pocket on this side to hold all of your goodies. The rest of that painting. Lots of space to journal, lots of space, to, another place to put in a little picture. This is sort of a, sort of a, uh, I don't, words left me again. Tab. It feels sort of like a tab, but when you turn it over, it's actually a fold out, which I think is adorable. And it has this pretty little lace. And then you could put another picture right there, especially if it was business card size. And then you could journal about it right here. I love that. I think that's cute, cute. I like, the, I like this lace. <clears throat> Pardon me. More papers and cardstock and pretty stuff. So this is a flip up with some more of this little scrap scraps of paper back there. An envelope. Then here we have a triple pocket. Let's look at this. Or triple tuck. So there's the pocket back here. Library card style. Then there is a tuck here. 
both of those things are tucked in there. And this little weird little thing I just thought was cute and I could put a little lace on it. So um, you can use that as a little bookmark. You can stick that wherever you'd like. I think it's adorable. So there's that. This is a belly band with what I believe is antique lace. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got that from. And this is a little journaling space in the shape of an envelope. And right here is one of those little hidden pockets. See, little hidden pocket. And it's got that same lace that's on here and on the band at the edge. So you know that's where that is, so you don't lose it. And more papers. And then in the back is the note from a bookmaker and I will have that linked below in case you wanna go get it and download it yourself. And I believe it was Natasha from Treasure Books that I first heard about that from. So thank you, Natasha. And this is a tuck. And then of course this pocket back here. So there you go. That is what I'm giving away. Now I wanted to just say quickly that I am so very grateful. And when I first started this channel, I did it because um, and I'm going to talk about Natasha from Treasure Books for just a moment because I, I, I thought the junk journaling community was amazing and, and everyone was always having these fun little, you know, ways to converse with each other via their channels or, or ways to share parts of themselves or share their work or share ideas through their channels. And I thought, I just really wanted to be a part of that community. And then, um, right, right as I was about, right as I was sort of thinking about this, but thinking, oh, who am I to do this? I don't, I'm not an expert at making junk journals. I just make, you know, I mean, I'm Nick the Booksmith and Gail and Natasha there. I mean, and I can't think of her name from my porch prints, but you know, all of these people, Jenny, and I mean, all of these people who are doing all of these amazing things, who am I? And then they had that, I think it was five questions and you tagged each other. And I thought, well, how fun is that? And I heard Natasha from Treasure Books do hers. And she was talking about some very personal things. And she talked about how she chose her name. She talked about where she came from, her life's journey, how important her books are to her. And she became, she went from being someone that I felt like I enjoyed her work, but I didn't necessarily feel like I had connected with her. You know, Gail, Gail's someone you, everyone connects with, right? And, and, and Nick from Nick the Booksmith, they're super easy to connect with. They're just so laid back. But Natasha, um, I guess in some ways, I, she probably intimidated me a little bit. I don't know why, but I, I guess I felt a little intimidated, like, cause she was, she just seemed so together, right? <laughs> I mean, Gail and Nick and the rest of us, we make lots of mistakes. And Natasha, I just felt like, oh my word, she's just, she's just amazing. And she's wonderful. You know, I mean, Gail and Nick are wonderful too. Don't get me wrong. But when Natasha did her video, I, I, I came to a place where I'm like, this woman is genuine. And I really felt like I connected with her. And I thought, how how wonderful is that and how wonderful is that for our community that we have the ability to touch each other's lives that way and to reach each other and to genuinely communicate. And I thought, I really want to be a part of that. So you're having to listen to my little story because I've gotten a hundred subscribers, but that was a very poignant moment for me in that I thought I wanted to share my story. I wanted to share um, what little things that I know and I wanted more importantly to be able to reach out in that YouTube community way. So that's why I started my channel. And here I am a hundred subscribers later and super thrilled about it and getting to share my love of junk journals with you. And I appreciate you so much. So please, please know how much I appreciate you and appreciate the fact that you talk with me and you share your comments and you share your thoughts with me. And I've started making some friends, you know, uh, away from the channel, based on the channel. And I just, I so appreciate it. 
And um, anyway, back to the contest one more time. And I'll reiterate what you have to do to get this is the contest will end one week from today on January 21st at midnight is the cutoff. Midnight Central Standard Time is the cutoff. And on February, I mean, on January 22nd, I will be drawing from those comments. I don't, again, I don't know how, but I know there is a way to do it. I know there's some kind of little, you know, app that I could use to have it pick comments or randomize the comment numbers or something. I don't know, <clears throat> but I will find it because I'm, I'm a smart cookie and I can do my research. But I will randomly choose someone from whoever leaves comments. And the only thing you need to do to enter is to pop a comment down below, say hello, and tell me what you like about junk journals. Super simple. Um, you know, even if you just say hi and you don't want to tell me about your junk journals, that's fine too. But I'd really like to know what you like about junk journals. And I might take some clues from that and see if there's something I could do to, you know, show you. Something I can show you how to do. So, um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my, welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers. And thank you so much for tipping me over the 100 mark line and 100 subscriber line. And um, I appreciate you, and I will see you very soon. Bye.